pontificating from the stage, um, sharing our knowledge and our industry experience. But um, there is a fantastic phrase which says that speaking to an audience without understanding what they need is like starting a love letter to whom it may concern. <laughs> okay? So this is where you ask us your specific questions, you share your experience and your knowledge so that you can all rise together. Because really, if there's a sub-theme to this event, I think it is all rise together and everybody wins. So um, I'm going to start with our panelists and I'm going to come to you first, Deirdre. We are, we've been talking to a lot of people. We had one-on-one -on -one consultations yesterday, which were really interesting, um, not least because of the, the breadth and scope of the work. Um, what is your impression, I suppose, and, and what is um, your feeling <laughs> um, about the, the state of play and the opportunity in this region at the moment? I, I was blown away by, by, by we six, about six different people yesterday, all doing different things. Um, and I was, I was, I mean, I knew one or two of them, Bernie, and I knew Moss and Cable. I didn't know the others. And one of the things I felt really was that very strong brands very, doing very interesting things. And I just thought, there's so much going on here in Donegal. Why don't they tell us about it? Mm. You know, and then here, watching the video and seeing <laughs> and listening to all the things going on in Derry, please tell us about it. You know, we need to know down here in Dublin. But I, and I, I would like to know the stories because that's what I do. I tell stories. I tell people's, people's stories. And if I get an interesting story and I get beautiful images, I write a story about it usually. So that's what I felt, that um, more than anything else, I mean, they're, they're, I'm, not, I'm not a brand manager. I don't know about marketing too much. I follow Instagram. I'm on I'm social media and so on. Um, I'm print and online with the Irish Times. We have a huge readership internationally. So I'm aware of that. Um, and I'm aware certainly that I can spread the word. You know, I have certain powers as a fashion editor of a paper. Um, but you've got to tell me. I, I mean, some, I go out and get as, I mean, I, I've come back now. I'll be going back to Dublin thinking, I've got to write about this, I've got to write about that, I've got to write about that. You know, there's so many stories that I didn't know before I came here um, yesterday. And I felt um, that really, I mean, I'm really proud that the, the, the cover of the magazine today is about Donegal Tweed because I fought hard for that. We haven't had a fashion cover for over a year, if maybe even two years, may, 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 might I say. Um, so to get that over the line, and that has coincided with this week, I feel very pleased, uh, pleased about that, because I think it highlights the energy, the creativity that's going on in the Northwest. And I think we've got, I mean, I, as I said about the PGI status, you've got to use that opportunity. I mean, you've got a lot of power here, enormous power in fashion and textiles, more, I think, than any other country in the country. Mm -hmm. And we need to make a lot of noise about that internationally. That's um, another thing. So that's and it's, it's more than pleased, isn't it? It's kind of a sense of national pride. Um, as the blow-in dubs, you know, in the room, this is infectious stuff. Mm. Do you know what I mean? This is not just about you siloed in a certain part of the country. This is something that we can be proud of as a nation. Mm. And to my shame, I was talking to Rosie there, I have two big window seats in my beautiful new house to, to a poster. <laughs> and I was looking uh, at Quadrat in Aarhus um, in, in Denmark for, for felts. To my shame, like, what am I doing? Why did I not immediately turn to Donegal Tweed to get those cushion covers, to showcase that amazing work? And, and really, that is about the power of the message, mm. right? So that message of excellence in fabric should be permeating our island. 100%. Paula, you know, you, you tell stories um, at the highest level through imagery. Uh, and and I, think that, I think it's important that we don't sugarcoat this today, that we, we tell an honest story mm -hmm. of sort of critical feedback and, and, and help you to be as good as you can be. Um, we met with companies, and I'm not just saying the companies we met with, but we've immersed ourselves in this world. What, what are the next steps to not just creating uh, individual brand 
identities, but a collective brand identities, brand identity for, for this. Well, I mean, what everyone's been talking about today is creating a community, and Ashley was talking about, and getting excited, speaking to Rosie and Bernie, and people are getting excited about this. And I actually heard the word goosebumps. I like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, and you talk about a movement. This is, a, this is the next stage. And so doing things like this more often where we can all encourage each other and talk about it and word, the power of word of mouth and sharing and... And like you say, you know, when you're thinking of getting fabric, oh, Donegal Tweed, as opposed to what everyone else is doing outside Ireland. So it is about the movement. It is about supports as well for the LEO and enterprise. And there are a lot of supports there. That's the other thing. And I know this from, from my own family starting a business. There are so many supports there and people do want to help. It is just about knocking on doors and asking um, and, and getting the word out there. Like uh, I'm jumping from one thing to another, but there's a lot to say. And I work with companies and they do, they spend a lot of money on uh, shoots and everything. And then they don't know what to do with the images. And so many times I'm like, well, you know, dear don't want to see this. Oh, do we need to get a PR company to, yeah, like, no, you pick up the phone and send your, your images. You know, and, and this idea that, oh, you know, oh, my God, would they be interested? Of course, your health, you're doing Deirdre's work. From my, forgive yeah, me for saying this. Look. But you're doing Deirdre's work by giving her your own story and saying, this is what we do and, and this is where we've come from. And, and it's just about getting the word out there and developing your websites and making sure your imagery is powerful. And I think over and above that, then, it's kind of the umbrella piece. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know, we, we, <laughs> we don't place a value on the stone walls. We don't place a value on the yarn and the tweed because it's our normal. It's our mm -hmm. everyday. Mm -hmm. By the way, we probably undervalue the Leo, the work that John and Grace do. Because, you know, every Leo has its own, mm -hmm. you know, there is a national priority framework. But every Leo has the autonomy to get behind certain things. And what you have in terms of a support structure, it, it, it's not everywhere, right? It doesn't yeah. live everywhere. So you have something, you have a group of people who are 100% behind you and have the resources to help you deliver. That's gold, mm -hmm. you know, don't underestimate that. Ashling, I know you have a really kind of strong vision for what this could be. Mm -hmm. um, I can hear it, I can hear, hear it in mm -hmm. your, not just in your presentation, but in how you speak about this. Mm -hmm. um, you know, cut to five years, because I actually think it is really important that the overall identity has serious yeah. firepower. Yeah. Cut to five years down the line, this has tons of money behind it. it we've unlocked this genie, um, which has gone global. I was saying to somebody earlier on, I would like, down the line, there are uh, residential four-day study trips that we offer out to the big houses. So Louis Vuitton comes in and does a tour of Donegal. Chanel comes in, does a tour of Donegal. Hermes comes in, does a tour of Donegal. And these things are the absolute epitome of excellence. And not only do they learn how excellent you are, you get to reposition yourself on a world stage. Five years time, this has just gone gangbusters. <laughs> what does it look like? Um, well, it's amazing, obviously. <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> um, well, like, um, I think that it is everything that, I mean, it, there's so much potential around it. If you, as soon as you start thinking about it, as soon as you start talking about it, it grows, you know, and you think about how you connect what's happening here within this industry and how much reach it has internationally. All of the talks, everybody kind of touched on that. We can see it as... Um, I guess, as uh, career professionals who are looking at an international industry, we can see how much potential there is in this very unique space in Ireland. So, I mean, so five years from now, it is an international conference with international speakers. Um, so with, you know, obviously connected to... Um, three years, say three years. Three, okay, so let's five, just say next wait. year, next year, next year. <laughs> well, uh, it, you know, you're bringing in maybe J.W. Anderson, the uh, creative director of Loewe, which is a massive global heritage branch, which a brand which has a huge connection with um, craft and handmaking skills. And 
um, there is a curated show which crosses um, textiles and design, uh, brings in international um, talent and is showcased alongside amazing Irish talent. Like even upstairs today, like this is an amazing centre, the RCC, it's brilliant. Mm -hmm. Upstairs today, there's like a beautiful show with some really incredible Irish artists. And I'm very proud to be speaking downstairs mm -hmm. below them, if you know what I mean. Like we're already connected, you know, like that's what I kind of try and say. Just look, it's like right there on the doorstep. But I think the you know, once you kind of open up a pathway, in, and you need you, you have the people on board who know how to get the support as well. Getting the money is obviously really important. Um, but you know, once you open up those pathways and people begin to engage, you just get a few right, few key people in there who have um, real interest in Irish culture and Irish community who are already on an international stage, like uh, Simone Rocha or Michael Stewart of Standing Ground. People who are positioned. Um, uh, who have a much more prominent position than we do right now, if you know what I mean. So, and you connect with them, you bring them on board, and then they help us to create visibility for other people to come on board. Um, Jada, be honest.